Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. I am Lily and today we are doing part 3 of our Dog and Land adventure. Today we are moving another thousand years closer towards the Neolithic timeline. Flooding is still happening and Tribe is not happy about always having to be on the run. Will we still be successful in keeping them together alive and happy for another thousand years? Let's find out! <laughs> Right, so here we go again. Let's try to not move far away from Doggerland area. See, there's barely any Doggerland left. I wonder if we can sneak back there at some point to see if there's a, a small piece of land we can try to stay for half a day, maybe half a day. I don't think we should go put the kettle on, that's for sure. <laughs> Absolutely no point putting the kettle on, I'll tell you that for free. Right, let's see what this looks like. Yeah, that's the ocean. Where's the... Hmm. No reed or fibre by ocean or by the river now. That's a bit odd, isn't it? Because we did have a reed uh, on the other one. It is random, but uh, I mean, it should be some though, shouldn't it? Or at least I think it should. Right, just let's um, make sure we get some comfort down. After three years, you know, your, your people become more... <laughs> more entitled. I'm not even kidding. It gets harder and harder to, to keep them happy while we are, are migrating. Especially if we're too slow getting stuff up. Because we need to make sure we get enough of the uh, the logs to get the fire going, that's for sure. Um, yeah, you can get uh, another one as well. Uh, so we should, we should in theory, or oh, maybe I'm a bit cocky here now because we did really go far, far close, far closer to the ocean than we should, didn't we? We're still gonna, we're still gonna be flooded. I think, I don't think we're gonna last very long here. Oh. Well, you know what? You know what? This is the adventure. This is it. This is the adventure. The, the, the the problem I have with it being called Island Hopping, which was the point of this uh, playthrough, is that there's, um, you get uh, the uh, flood warning, you know, same day as land. The, the adventure is not really there, it's just a matter of fleeing for your life constantly. That's all there is to it, you know? It's like, oh, I so wish we could see the flooding coming closer and closer, because that would, that would be really, really cool. Seriously cool if we could just see that, but uh, yeah, well, maybe we can. Never know what the future will bring. There's a lot of implementations and, and DLCs planned for this for this game. There was this one guy on forum asked when the dinosaurs were going to come, and I have to say, well, that will be when the Mesozoic timeline comes. You know, that's the the triad, you not know, the uh, the Triassic, the Jurassic, and the Cretaceous. Those three together, spanning several hundred billion years. <laughs> <laughs> it won't be tomorrow, let's just say that. It won't be tomorrow. But I say it's coming and I do believe um, we might have already planned the DLC after Ice Age. But Ice Age, of course, with, with mammoths and woolly rhinos and eagles and mammoth huts, mammoth tusk huts. I've already done some of the research, but I think the devs have a ton of research already lined up, already drawn up for the game. I've seen some of it. Some of the research, because some of it I have found. So let's just hope that uh, it doesn't go too long before we get it. But for now, we really need to focus on all the fixes and, uh, and stuff. And I'm wondering, I'm wondering if the devs are planning on changing their user interface because there is quite a bit of people who says that it's, you know, they don't particularly like it. You know, they, they are actually making bad reviews because partly of the user interface. I, I don't mind it at all, but hey, that's just me. Anyway, we are getting stuff up. We have fireplaces, we have some huts, but the thing is, when you've been on the run, which is basically we are, we are on the run. We have been in, on the run for 2000 years. And uh, when they're being on the run all the time, there is no stability in the in the in keeping the unrest down. It yo-yos up and down all the time because the condition changes all the time. And you know, as the years go by, those with bad grades, they will be more and more difficult to, to please. So people will be leaving 
because the prolonged uh, unrest from for instance, their bad grades will cause them to, to tip over to the point where they've had enough and just leaves. So, um, yeah, we need to be... Maybe we should uh, find a bit more inland in Doggerland itself. The problem, however, with that is that there won't be too much to eat. There won't be too much food. Because if we can't find any fish, then we only have to rely on that poor one reindeer, almost said reindeer, that one deer that we can find somewhere alone up in the hills. What hills? There are no hills. There are no hills in Doggerland. It's all flat. Uh, anyway, we, we should do that and try to get some calm into my people because they are not happy and they are getting more and more difficult to, to please, to keep happy. So it's when it's when the, the normal people without any bad grades starts to go really grump. Yeah. Why why am I surprised? Why am I surprised? Anyway, it is when it is the normal people who start to go grumpy that we need to be really careful and look after seeing what we are doing. Because we, then we might need to sneak into Doggerland mainland and settle perhaps for even half a year or so. This is slow, so half a year is going to take quite some time. It's going to take uh, six months, you know. So, yeah. Go on, let's uh, dismantle these and get going. Unfortunately, I did not get rid of the unhappiness on people. You can see they have unhappy faces. And you won't get any better. It will not get any better. They will continuously be grumpy. I should have thought of that, shouldn't I? Should have tried to sneak a bit more in land on Doggerland itself. So just note to self, if you're going to do any kind of Doggerland excursions, adventures, stay on Doggerland. You know. But the thing is, you won't really stay any longer on Doggerland anyway because we don't have enough food to stay, so you won't run out of land. You will run out of food, so you have to migrate either way. You know, out of two evils, what are you going to pick? <laughs> where, where is Doggerland? Oh my goodness, Doggerland is gone. We have no more Doggerland, dude. Look, it's all gone. Well, I did see France, maybe a smidge in Germany, and perhaps a very tiny bit of, of Netherlands. But we have lots of England. But you know, that, that basically means that we are free to, to go a little bit about, aren't we? But uh, until the climate is better, till the environment is more friendly, we can just as well stay by the coast, because we have to move after just some sleeps anyway, because we will have a a prey like one deer and that's it if we don't have anything else let's see how long we can last here and then we should slowly but surely start to move up you know towards thames and where london is supposed to be in the far distant future <laughs> okay let's see are there no hazelnut trees should be some Anyway, let's uh, park ourselves and do our normal stuff. Right now we're going to go, um, we're soon going to go below 8k. We're going to close up to the Neolithic timeline. That's going to be interesting to see how much uh, food we're going to get up here in England. Should be quite okay. Should be fairly much the same as Western coast of France and Germany to be honest not too far away so when can we start getting uh, Neolithic migrants I think we're gonna get them from roughly I don't know 1500 uh, 2000 years from now at least with some Neolithic influence I think so right let's uh, see let's see if we can do these yeah we have uh, we have the straw. Need to get these down as well. Any place to sleep is better than no place to sleep, no matter how much they hate it or how much unrested, it, how little unrest it takes away. People hate sleeping in bad houses. Well, don't we all? Don't we all? 
okay let's just let them work in peace Yeah, so the UI thing, um, I don't think I've ever seen a UI like this, to be honest. Maybe maybe I've seen a little bit in, in The Sims, when Sims first started in the 90s, there was a very, very simple UI. But they kind of still have it, although it is now more dynamic, like you click one thing and then another circle of options open up and stuff like that. Maybe they should do the same here. I mean, that is a, a, a very okay way to do things, I think. But uh, yeah, uh, if it comes, I will be the first one to test it. If I don't like it, hmm, what's going to happen then? We shall see. But no guarantees, I have no idea if they are actually going to do it. But there are a few who are, yeah, saying it on their uh, reviews that they don't, they don't like the UI, say it's clunky. So yeah, we shall see what happens, what the devs decide. I'll be darned. We can now make read huts. You know what that means? Oh yeah, it means Oh crikey, fiddlesticks flip me sideways on a Monday. It means that everything we have now, that we have all the materials to build, will be even worse. People will complain even more and be more unhappy. Oh, dude. See, this is the curse. This is the curse of, of being, um, you know, an architect trying to build the best that you can. But of course, people want better. Well, it's this or nothing, and we need to save up to get the, the reed anyway. And we're we going to get the reed. There's not a sliver of reed in these rivers. Not a single one. So you have to go to Timbuktu to cut some tall grass in 8K BC in England. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> it's, it's such a curse. Oh, this is not easy. This is what you get when you don't have reed in the rivers it's going to be a pain in the you know where to get enough reed to build even one i wonder if i should complain and whinge to the devs to see if they up the reed a bit um well let's um get some materials now that we have some sleeping arrangements so we can go back to doing some of the uh, the old uh, materials Okay, so there are no super unhappy faces. Some of them are um, tired of working. Now it's year three. We just tipped over to year three and uh, their, their bad grades will, will start showing more and more. But you know, the thing is, if they can last several, like five years, then they will have lived out their lives, you know. So when it comes to a time where they perhaps would normally have left, they are dying instead. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind that at all. I mean, it's circle of life, isn't it? And, and you know, <laughs> cynical, but true. But it's not like I, we can really do anything about that, is it? We just have to accept that some with bad grades, you know, get exhausted after three to five years. And, and will leave you unless they, of course, die from old age, which they are going to do. <laughs> they are going to do. <laughs> They're going to do anyway. Ah, oh. right. So, okay, you guys are fighting for the fine sticks, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Right. Do we see anything else? We should get a few of these anyway, shouldn't we? Dryers is always a good idea. Okay, but just one thing at a time. Something easy first. Right. So the haystack has 150% um, decay reduction, always a plus. Now we're going to need uh, to take better care of our straw because we need it. Hello, I'll take you. You, you, you. Oh, it's 50. But he's uh, got good grades, he's got good skills in fishing. But he only has one skill. One skill with those grades. A little bit. 
unbalanced there to be honest it should not logically you know be parallel with his uh, positive grades and intellect and, and skill no way oh gosh I thought we were gonna have a little bit more time we did not have a little bit more time yeah well let's dismantle and move on at least we've gotten rid of all the unhappy faces and they don't have the angry faces anymore and that is good because that means we've stayed long enough for everyone to sleep in some good places and for people to pray and to have plenty food plenty food is really so important so yeah let's do this girls have a good night's sleep and then we're going in the morning look at look how unhappy when they wake up oh and today when we need to move of all days you're grumpy today Crikey. Are you going to get chopped out? Where are you? Where did he go? Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> I would never get away with doing that today. I'll tell you that for free as well. <laughs> yeah, let's do this. Do you guys as well also pause them so they shan't spend their time? dismantling the stones that they won't be taking with them anyway well it's a waste of time isn't it it's a waste of time okie dokie let's do this okay since we have no more dog land we don't have to we don't have to stay by coast but in theory seriously in theory we should be able to sneak a little bit back maybe far enough away to not be flooded immediately but also close enough to get clams let's find out i mean we can only try can't we right let's have a look see yeah Looks all right here. It's just uh, still no significant amount of uh, of reed, though. I kind of did expect it to be more reed, but I think perhaps it's because we are so close to the ocean that there will be little reed in this timeline. So I think that when we get closer to the Neolithic timeline, even closer, like a thousand, fifteen hundred more years, we are probably going to find uh, reed and, and fibre by the river sides. Yeah, so let's uh, focus on getting up comfort for everyone first. First of all, we basically need everything, don't we? Oh gosh, no, she's old. I can't change any of the policies. Not she, but he is old. I have to admit, I'm a little bit surprised that so few have left. We've had um, three, three living and one dying in combat, yeah? So altogether, we've had four that we've lost one way or the other. So that is, uh, those are not bad numbers. But then again, tribe is, is tiny, you know, it's a, a mini, mini tribe. I would not... Uh, think for one second that if I tried to migrate like this with a 300 plus tribe on hardcore that I would have even a third of them left <laughs> after the second after the second migration they would all be bye bye don't love you bye bye <laughs> oh, I really want to oh yeah we need to get down graves don't forget those I mean we have several old ones do we not because now we're going into year three, so people are going to start. Oh, my word, look at all those complaining. Oh, 
course we only had one fireplace so some of them or actually many of them had to sleep out in the open please don't go oh come on eat some good food look you like the food that will give plus that will give plus <laughs> let's get it on Let's see if we can get some reed here. Uh, well, I can't see any by the rivers. So I guess there's only the tall grass we can get it from. And tall grass is not finished um, maturing yet, so there will be not a lot. But uh, Let's get down a, a straw hut at least. Well, anything really. We'll just build whatever. Whatever we can, just chalk it down. Whatever we have materials for, down it goes. There's probably going to be a few more animals now as well, so let's get down the pits as well so they don't come steal it. Because we do want those uh, hazelnuts for ourselves. So hazelnut is what I call a neutral food. They don't give unrest and they don't give happiness. They are a neutral food. So the unrest foods, you're probably aware of this, are definitely the roots and definitely the bone marrow and uh, definitely... Do they not like pine nuts perhaps either? You know, the, the area where there are pine nuts is so small in compared to the rest of Europe that has no pine nuts that if you, if you only play a certain area and never where they are, you will never get pine nuts. So it will only be the, the, uh, the Atlantic Ocean connected country that also has a connection to the, the Mediterranean Ocean or is it the Caribbean Ocean? Oh gosh, well, which one is it to, to the right of Spain? That's the Mediterranean, isn't it? It is the Mediterranean. Well, if I'm wrong, it is the Caribbean. It's either or. No, it's not Caribbean. Oh my God, I'm such an idiot when it comes to geography. It's ridiculous. Anyway, those who have that connection, those two connections will have um, pine knots, plus minus a few hundred thousand kilometers, I think. Um, I don't think they have them in Portugal, at least not the northern parts. Maybe a part of the southern. Portugal will have some of the, the pine nuts, but most of, of south and eastern and northern Spain will have it, I'm pretty sure, and also the entire part of uh, south and east of France will also have them. You won't have them in the Alps, because that's too high up and way too cold for them. At least I've never found any in the Alps. Yeah. There's not many deers because that deer was a, a young deer. That means we're soon going to run out of those. What are you guys lacking? A lot. It doesn't matter. We've stolen. No, we haven't stolen. We have traded for a lot of, of good weapons that we can't make. We have traded for the Flint Spears. We have traded for the bows. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm definitely happy with that. Yes, let's uh, save my nuts. I almost said these nuts. God, I almost lost my uh, my marbles due to that. I was laughing so hard. It's so silly. And of course, my editor refused to remove it. So everybody knows how childish I am now. <laughs> Dear Lord. <laughs> Let me see. Let's get down some offering as well. Need to give them more comfort, more, more comfort. Because they do have angry, angry faces. I don't want those. See how slow it goes with, with them getting read. Look at that. It's ridiculous. Because there's no, there's no reed here. We are too early to get the masses that the rivers normally have. We have to rely on our straw huts. We have no choice. So yeah, you guys will have to take what there is. If you don't like it, you can leg it. Lump it or leave it. Pretty much. We're going to let them work in peace now. Get stuff done. Oh, we got a new leader. Look, now we could put up the labor age, which is something I always do. It's not always the smart thing to do. Be aware of that because uh, you, you are uh, making sure when you do that, especially as high as I do, you are making sure that the children who are still growing are growing a little bit slower. They gain their fitness a bit slower and elder people who are slowly but surely working their way to zero end of life. They are going a little bit faster to, to, to zero end of life. 
or they stop working sooner. So it, it is a risk you're taking. But you know, with all the testing I've done on this, the, the difference is really not that great. It's not so much that I say don't do it. Just be aware that it happens, yeah? You probably have testers around this and this yourself. But the thing is, not every tribe is the same. That's the thing, isn't it? If you have strong children with very few bad grades, you can actually get away with it and not even notice it. I mean, it might just be talk about a month or two delayed before they start working and a month or two sooner before they stop working as elder. So, yeah, it's also depending on the tribe. A lot. Let's get down some of these things. Try to get it a little bit organized. Yeah, I'm being very pos pos positive here, very optimistic, thinking that uh, we're going to stay for a long time, so we're tidying the tribe. But you know, in all fairness, we are far enough away from the ocean to not having to, to move within just a few sleeps. I would like to see if we can't stay even 10 sleep or, or more, 20 sleeps. Maybe I'm a bit cocky there, but hey. It's this thing about being positive, isn't it? Let's let's be positive, always be positive. We can grind our teeth when nobody's watching, but we will always have a smile on our face. Yeah, I'm smiling in real life now, just to show, by the way. <laughs> oh dear, okay, let's uh, get these tidied as well. I know that uh, I suggested it actually a few years ago and I see others are suggesting as well now recently that they have a sort of a saved blueprint of how they would like their storage areas to be organized and uh, you can save that as a blueprint and then you, when you migrate you can just place that blueprint down. So I think we might get that in the future because we are so many that have asked for it. Uh, it's not like it's just me nagging on it, it's, it's a lot of others so we'll just have to wait and see. You know, considering all the work that they have to do, this one and a half programmer, the dev and Mr. Darkby, those are the ones who are doing it. Mr. Darkby is also having to spend some of his time doing some of the testing before it goes further to me. So I'm, I'm just shocked that, at, that they get all done that they have been doing. I mean, all the things they are getting done, those two, it's, it's amazing. But then again, I know from experience, they sometimes work basically 18 hour days. No kidding. I have had conversations with them around midnight and also at three o'clock in the morning. Seriously, if it has been a release and we have had something we needed to, to work on that wasn't quite right or that needed to be sorted before release or as we had released, something was discovered after we released and things like that. They are easily up after night sorting it and so am I. I will stay up and help them as well. So nobody can come here and say that they are not working for it because that is so not true. They are very passionate, very busy. There's, there's never anything like, you know, there are never any conversations that are non-professional. Everything is just about the game, the gameplay, improvements, the future of the game. There's never anything, yeah, well, how are you today, Lily? What have you been doing today? There's, there's never any of that. It's so professional, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see how we're doing. Okay, at least we have the materials we need now to get stuff done. We still do have a few people that are unhappy. But it's not super duper unhappy. They are just, they are bothered most of the time, aren't they? They don't like to sleep so long by the fireplace, so we need to get more housing up really should, should get one of those and uh, dryers what we need to prioritize let me see yeah there's more here I need to fill let me see I'm gonna have a look at you guys you guy I think I didn't even check him just take him get him get him need to uh, we don't have baskets so we have to put the plant pro no plant produce the animal produce and on them, all the animal products uh, inside fences so no animals come and steal it especially the boars those boars seriously they will take the food right as you're standing there they will come and help themselves and they don't bloody well move they don't move they don't care when they're hungry everything is ignored they just go straight for the food I remember um, when I started playing 
we did not have wild boars. We had uh, self dead animals on the. Uh, we couldn't hunt them. There were animals, but we couldn't hunt them. So uh, we had only stripping. So we went uh, and took all the, the meat and the, the leather, you know, the raw hides and the bones after they died because we couldn't kill them ourselves. And uh, I remember there were so many boars that came into camp and stole our food that they made a, a, a coding that the first year you land in a new place, you won't have any boars coming to your place. That's how many boars there were that they actually had to make that uh, adjustment, that coding to the game. That of course is out of the uh, question now. The boars will come as they see fit because we have so many options from the start to uh, protect our food. We have gates and we have fences from the start, so we have no excuse. But back then we didn't, we didn't have it. So we just, uh, we were just watching as the boars came in the 20s and 30s of them and steal everything we had. It was ridiculous. No, they quickly coded that away so we could uh, <laughs> safeguard all our food. Yeah. Gosh, I remember before, before so many things. I mean, it feels it feels like I played forever, but I haven't really played forever. I, can't, I didn't start playing actively until, I don't know, April, May 2021. And since then, I've been so addicted. Wait a minute, I think I see some young, some young reed. Oh yeah, look, there's some young reed. It's a good start. I mean, Rome wasn't built in the day. It's probably a bit more as we go inwards as well. Why are you guys going a weird way? Are you... I should probably check their, their traits. Probably have like dumb or slow or... There are a few of the really bad intellect, the negative grades, the uh, imbeciles. But it's so hilarious the way they put the description. I actually made a bet with the developer who put that in when I was testing it. And I said, if you dare to leave that on public, I will, first of all, I will fear you, but then I will also respect you. Because the description what was, what the F are you doing? <laughs> You know, it just shows there is some kind of American sense of humor because Americans do this a lot, have these really hilarious descriptions and names for stuff. And it seems it has been a little bit going over to these developers as well. I don't mind a bit of humor in the games. I actually quite enjoy that. Well, the Warcraft has a lot of it. It is hilarious at times the way they make fun or, you know, fun of a description, weird names. It's <laughs> it is it's, re it's actually refreshing, I think. So even though it is, it's uh, you know they are serious people, or they are professionals. They are doing this to you know to to have a future. It's their job. They they still do these fun things. So really good. It's really good. I like it. I wouldn't mind more, but there you go. Can't just have comedy, can we? We need some death and despair as well, don't we? <laughs> yeah okay so we're getting more and more housing up so now uh, hopefully the uh, the uh, the yellow house shall go blue we shall see oh it went away it went away we suddenly got enough for everyone with with four spots is it five spots in those no it's it's four four spots in the straw house okay right that means everyone has a place to sleep not all of them are good granted but they don't have to sleep by the fireplace good so I could get away with in beginners, let them sleep out for 11 years. You know, I normally do that. I never get done with the housing in beginners. On hardcore, oh, you're going to get in big trouble if you don't get up houses. That's for sure. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. But they don't necessarily love where they're sleeping. But you can see they're waking up without being super duper unhappy. Sometimes when they come out with the unhappy faces, it's just because they, um, they're hungry. They have, they have hunger. Oh, even more. The more, the merrier. Yeah. Can we actually have more? Do we need more people? Look at us. We're 27. I don't care. Take them. Take them. You are with me. Okay, full miso. They should both be full miso still. It's a bit early to expect any kind of Neolithic influence. We're just below 8k, so yeah, a bit too early. Let's do these now. One for fish and one for meat. I 
I remember when we only had boar and hare in the game, and then we got deer, and then they all came, blah, 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 one by one by one. The last one, of course, is the auroch and the rat. They came together, by the way, with, um, with animal husbandry, because then we got cattle. So, yeah. We got cattle, and we got pigs, and we got goats, domestic goats. I wonder if they will ever make it possible that we can tame our own animals in our locality. Like, I wouldn't mind taming a few sheep. Because, for instance, in England, it is well known that by already 3K or even 4K BC, 3.5, 4K BC, there were plenty sheep in, in England that were used for both their milk and their wool, and of course, the, the meat. There's plenty of research to, to su support that. So I wouldn't mind having a few sheep, to be honest. Because we do have the mufflun, mufflun, I don't even know how to say it, wild sheep, I'll say. Wild sheep in game. So if they've tamed the auroch, they've tamed the wild boar, and they've tamed the wild goat, the ibex, Iberian ibex is the correct name, then we should be able to uh, tame the uh, the wild sheep as well, shouldn't we? The mufflun, 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 mufflun. <laughs> I'm going to have to go to a, a Google thingy and, and press the, the speaker to hear how they actually are saying that name. You know what would be hilarious? Absolutely hilarious? Was if you're one of you English guys or American, whoever knows how to say it, record that you are saying it and then post it on my YouTube channel. <laughs> that would be so hilarious. Hey Lily, this is how you say it, you noob. <laughs> Today. I will show that to the devs, definitely, absolutely, definitely show that to the devs. <laughs> well, I would certainly have had that coming, that's for sure. We well, you know English is not my native language, so just be glad this is not in Norwegian, I'll tell you that. And having, having all the accents, I'll do the Northern Norwegian, and I'll do some Middle Norway, and I'll do some Southern Norway accent, and you guys wouldn't understand a thing. <laughs> Okay, so uh, how many days have we been here now? We've been here several sleeps. I'm um, cautiously optimistic. This is not looking too bad, is it? Not at all. Well, I do know that we have uh, hazelnuts. I can see a dead hazelnut in front of us. That means where there's one, there is more. And now we are finally getting the uh, the reed as well. At least they can try to rotate to get rid of some of the un unrest if they have any due to the housing. But we still have too many of the really poor ones, which is the peltots, because they are now miners. So yeah, so that should do some good, hopefully. Okie dokie, and night time. Well, at least nobody's sleeping out in, in by the fireplace, so I'm happy with that. Okay, did you um, increase your knowledge in your sleep? Did are you sleep talking? What's it called? Talking in your sleep? Or you was probably just pondering by the fireplace, talking with everyone else, getting a bright idea. I really like that they did that. I really, really like that they did the, the tribe discoveries. So it was a really good move. Look at that. Our first read hut is done. Very good. And it can take five. So that means that, you know, we, we have space for more, for more migrants. Do we not? Yeah, good. was too close to the fence. There you go. Let's save the, the honey as well, because you see we have almost one unit of honey. It needs to be saved. <laughs> Let's do some work. 
keep up the skills so the thing is you can also um you know create more stone tools than you actually need but i find that extremely uneconomical because if you don't use it then it's just gonna you know rot away and never be used so i find that the, the easiest way in my opinion the the cheapest way to do it the more economical way to do it is just to place a uh, stone fencing You know, as long as they just get the initial rudimentary skill level, we have saved stone working, haven't we? We've saved stone work because we will never lose it then. We don't really have like a ton of, of this skill anyway. We have, is it 10% or something we have? And uh, that should be okay for them to work themselves up to. Well, you know what? We stayed here quite a while. I shall not complain again. I shall accept it. <sighs> and move on. Yep. It is what it is. Let's do this. Holding head high. <laughs> that frown upside down. Yeah, let's make it... Uh... Let's go on more adventures. Well, at least they're not super duper unhappy because they had a read hut for, I don't know, two nights? Had a read hut for two nights? Yeah? <laughs> Let's just... <laughs> Let me see. Shall we go a little bit, a little bit in? But we're still by the coast. We are still by the coast, but there's absolutely nothing left of Doggerland. Doggerland is all gone now. So... You can see there's only remnants out there. Tiny tiny bits more in there see if we can get uh, maybe we can manage to get a little bit of uh, reed here because I still want to get clams as well but I also want river with reed let's see if uh, if we get it now oh yes this is definitely looking good look Lots of young reeds sprouting up. That's great. Excellent. That means we can have uh, we can have reed huts. Look at that. This is where we shall plonk our bums down. Yeah. Let's get to it. So, considering where we are. We should actually be able to stay for quite a while now because we are actually well below 8k BC so the sea levels I mean Dogland is basically gone so how much more are the, are the sea levels going to rise probably for a few centuries more though let's just hope we're far enough away from the coast let's just uh, place down everything we need I seem to be lacking some yeah that will come later we have plenty of tools and everything we need at the moment so let's just get these done I don't like that we came so late that we couldn't even build fireplaces I think we're gonna lose someone with bad oh god look at that <laughs> look at all those who are threatening to leave they are so grumpy because they are basically all sleeping out in the open considering that they've been here for oh my god here we go We've been here so long that they will have an instant 50 in unrest. Let's have a look. Yeah, instant 50 <laughs> because they had to sleep in the open. See, if you just if we had just landed and they had to sleep in the open, it wouldn't have been 50. It's like I said, it is progressive. And as the years go by, they accept less and less. So now we're year three. And when we land and they have nowhere to sleep, not even a simple fireplace, it's poof, insta 50. And off they go. If they have bad grades... Yeah, they will go. So how many will we lose with him? I don't think we're going to lose a lot. We have food. Food is always the most important. Let's check out the uh, groups a bit. Yeah. Oh, another one going. Oh, is that her mum? Is that his mum? Yeah, relative left the tribe. Yeah, that's the one who left. Sure, fine. Fine. You wouldn't have lived many more years either, anyway. 
Look at her, she has good grace among all the bad grades. So the bad grades are going. Or at least not those with good grades are, are leaving, so the good ones are staying. But we really would like to get down stuff as quickly as possible. Chuck down some of these. Go, go, go. Let's get them down. Wait. We only have 22. Duh. Okay. One, two, three. That's five. I need to learn to count. Because each spell tot takes five. And we have 22. So four it is. So I'm going to lower the work hours now. So that they have more time to recover and more time to, you know, not do anything. Just until people have a place to sleep. As soon as everyone has a house, then I'm going to put it up to default again. Because I'm so terrified that more of them are going to leave me. Because for a while, many of them will only have the fireplace where they can sleep. So they're going to be super grumpy. I mean, seriously, super grumpy. So let's see. See how it goes if they calm down now. Or well, they should, really. I have decided that they should. But then I think they should. I think that makes sense to demand. <laughs> yep. Yep. Say it as it is, Lily. <laughs> Hide nothing. <laughs> Stands to reason. Yeah, I'm just going to leave them to it for a bit. Not bother them too much. They're still threatening to leave though. because uh, But at least they are, are sleeping by the fireplace. Which means that it won't be insta 50 unrest at least so today we should get up uh, some of the peltats at least yeah some of them just have the uh, the pelts to put on the leather and then they're done it's a uh, some of these so the uh, the reed huts that we're saving up to has plus 30 now definitely need to get these as well not just put them where put them where people around where people are there you go two should do it that'll do it I hope Time to get down some uh, storage areas, get some organisation, some, some tidying. You can see, if you don't do this, if you don't make storage areas, they, they tend to just drop them wherever, almost at where they lay their hat. They just drop them around, like around a fireplace or a place of activity. So if we don't do that, then you will have a pile of stuff around the fireplace. Yeah, let's get these done so uh, the next patch that is coming is the um, 0 0.5 we just released 0 0.4 so um, the content is not yet fully disclosed but I have done some of the research that they will need and uh, but unfortunately I cannot tell you guys what it is so yeah I shall not tease you, but I know and you don't. <laughs> I am so mean, oh my word. Yeah, I'm going to have my ass under to me if I say anything, you can't do that. going to whoop my ass. Right, um, so <clears throat> if we can manage, if we can manage uh, 
another 10, 20 nights here, I think I will be okay. But the thing is, I'm a little bit surprised that we didn't have clams. We have no clams. That kind of tells me we're not close enough to the coast. But I'm pretty sure we plonked our bombs down fairly close to the coast, did we not? Maybe I remember wrong. Anyway, we, we, we certainly have enough of the other foods because we do have uh, hazelnuts, which is so often a lifesaver, both in hardcore as in beginners. It's a lifesaver, especially if your harvest goes wrong or if you get to save your seeds like I do, flipping all the time. Make some for the food as well. It's going to be interesting to see... Um, what we are going to add in the uh, Ice Age uh, downloadable content. I'm not sure if it's going to cost any money, if it's going to be free. I know they said earlier that some were going to be free. All the implementations were going to be free, but some of the DLC were also going to be free. So I will see, have to wait and see what they do. I, I, I hope they add some DLCs that has to do with, with the clothing and the colours and, and the different types of uh, not only housing, but also the colours and the textures, you know, the different uh, building materials and stuff like that. And they get more tools, get more weapons. You know, there's a lot of things I want. And a lot of us have been asking, especially lately, several I've seen, I've been asking for toys for the children. I think that's fairly important to, to have toys for children because there's no doubt that they had plenty toys for the kids. Of course they did. Kids have played since the since dawn of man. You know, not to uh, glorify. Yeah, still no, still no... Uh, clubs not to glorify the game dawn of man i did actually play it over 700 hours before i went bored um <clears throat> but the uh, yeah toys belong to 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 childhood doesn't it i mean even grown-ups have toys well we call them hobbies don't we we call them hobbies when we play with our toys it's our hobby yeah and i stick to it so it's going to be interesting to see what they do I would like them to add an Amazon DLC as well, but that's like so far away from Europe, it's not even fun. But maybe we can get something over over the pond from Spain, from Spain, over the little, you know, the little stretch of water from Spain to to top of Africa. Maybe we can get um, some Egyptian DLC as well. That would be so flipping awesome. Building the flipping pyramids. I'll take that any day. Really. Oh, I'm getting um, excited now for the things that we can do. You know, the things that can come. Okay. Yeah. Look at the pelt art. Minus, minus, minus. Yep, work on. Okay, so the housing is yellow now. So we need roughly two more houses, I think. As soon as we can get up a, a reed hut, I'm definitely going to do that, definitely. Get, a, get rid of all the unhappy faces. So if we can manage to keep the unhappy faces gone for several sleeps, all the uh, unrest will be lowered and lowered and lowered. And then when we have to migrate again, it will take a while before it moves back up again because it is progressive. So this is the danger with having to flee all the time. You can't uh, um, calm down the unrest. You know, you, you need several days to calm down from when they are around 50 because it's progressively going down as well. It doesn't just like go overnight. It's progressively up, but it's progressively down. It goes faster down though, seriously. It goes down within a few days or so, but um, yeah. We need those days to get down any building unrest. Still a lot of people that hasn't got a place to sleep, so we need to work on that. Look at you. You're hesitant and, yeah, lacking a proper housing. You see, see that young dude here? So good grades. A lot of good grades on that young dude. He's very big, yeah, but he's feeble. See the um the big trait 
takes away some of the negative effect of the, the uh, feeble trait or the fitness reduction trait because you get fitness from having positive uh, biological size you know if you're big then you have added stamina added fitness like you're pretty big so that guy only has yeah you can take away whatever was in the biology with whatever he had on his fitness reduction and then you get the true the true fitness on him either reduction or plus or whatever he had I wonder if I should actually know I am actually going to make these guys make stone walls. Yeah, it doesn't have to be pretty, it just have to be functional. Oh, this might go wrong, yeah. So this is what I mean. You can't you can't uh, have the sections fluid. They are not fluid. They are locked to exactly that size. So this is why you can get away with doing uh, you actually not only can you will get away with doing the the uh, gates last it's just you know if the mountain doesn't want to come to lily then lily will go to the mountain so we go the other way around instead just hope that there's a connection that i didn't see a yellow we might not have a connection we will find out if we see animals go through then we know we cocked up i wish they would make the the sections more fluid because you see that all the time. If it doesn't fit exactly, it won't fit over. It just turns red, even though there's a, like only half a section needed. You will not get that half section. So you should uh, yeah, try to get the, the fences down first, and then you make a hole, and then you place just a gate over it. I mean, to me, that's the, the most secure way that I have at least experienced myself. Guess we need to wait a bit more before we increase the labor time. How many is that? That's four. Five sleeping out in the open. Okay. Well, won't be too long now. I'm just crossing fingers that we are far enough from the ocean to not be swallowed up so quickly. You see, if we can stay long term, then we can get up all the quality things that we need to, to get rid of all the unhappy faces. But the risk we run then is that we're still in, in the fairly fairly early meso timeline meaning the environment is not quite so good yet so there will you know for sure be a, a food reason why we need to move and not a lack of land reason so that that should uh, perhaps if we can manage a year here i think that might be max unless the sea takes us of course then it will be less obviously but well, we've been there quite a while now. So I am, I am hopeful. I'm so hopeful I'm going to place down some benches. <laughs> if people sit on benches. Yeah. Because we have stone axes. We have a lumberjack. Or a lumberjill. Or a lumber person. So we should be okay. Yeah, it's going to take a while before... Uh... Oh, oops, they are laying out in the open, aren't they? These are the nuts. Oh, gosh, we need to get uh, we need to get some pits down. I forgot about those. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's have a, a shared um, or a um, varying direction they're going to go. So you're going to be turned. Yeah, and you and the other one up here. So that the middle one has one each way now. So now they're equal. They have to be equal. <laughs> this is good. Yeah, I'm gonna leave them be for a bit. <clears throat> We're gonna get snow, aren't we? Look how pretty it is. I find it so therapeutic to just sit and watch this. It's so it's so beautiful. There's no other game I've seen anything as beautiful as this. Just look at the water. Look at the water. It's like real. I love this. I can watch this for a long, long time and still feel okay. <laughs> I'm okay with this. I'm okay with just staring at it. I love the winters. The winters when, you know, when the snow turns into diamonds. It is so pretty. It, it makes me nostalgic because I grew up in northern Norway. And we had this every day, every winter, 
we had the diamonds on the ground and it was so beautiful and it was so quiet when it when it snowed it was such a compact silence I miss that I still miss that after all these years I have been to Northern Norway since I was 14 it's quite a few years ago yeah let me see oh look that's all we have left of Doggerland and a tribe that is stranded in Doggerland doesn't know where to go because there's nowhere left to go you just some sporadic spots here and there probably trying to migrate but it's uh, flooded everywhere oh yeah look at us we're not even close to the coast I thought we were hmm okay let's let's go and see look and see what the other tribes are doing okay you're moving yeah fine you only have fish don't need fish don't need meat certainly don't need uh, any flax any grains food well we're good on rope we're good on rope so we don't need to trade any of these or raid for that matter doesn't any of them have any tools Nobody's got tools. Well, that's a bit Bob Bob, isn't it? But see, now I now well now we can see why we don't have clamps, because we are between the ocean and a small lake. So that's why, and that's probably why we can stay for quite a bit without uh, becoming mermaids. Yeah. So yeah, we uh, we are definitely going to run out of food rather than out of land. So. It's a nice change though, isn't it? I mean, we have been fleeing for over 2,000 years. So it stands to reason that we will be okay with running out of food. <laughs> At least we won't be wet. Wet and cold and grumpy because we never have a house. Sleeping by the fireplace for 2,000 years could make anyone grumpy. 2,000 years. <laughs> Let's uh, sit around the fireplace for 2,000 years, shall we? Yep. <laughs> Okay. I see when the morning breaks if we still don't have clams. I doubt it. There's no way we are close enough. Really. No way. Nope. Thought so. Thought so. Let me see you. And have beetroots. roots. Of course, you can have nuts. I'll take you. Look at her. This is what I mean with the update that you get more of the knowledge you've lost. Like we lost some levels in uh, food processing, and here she comes with adding food processing knowledge to the tribe, so we get more food processing. So the patch is working here as well. This is good. still lack a few with houses um, as soon as I think we're going to need um, a reed and one more straw and then we actually are good or perhaps our health or see what I chalk up there is yeah let's get those um, we should probably get some for the uh... no oh, duh. <laughs> we should probably get some for the uh, roots as well I think yeah and then that one can have uh, nuts as well to be honest I think Now let's get a read as close as possible. Thank you. We'll go to that one first and we should take one of these as well. So when we build these two, then I think we'll be, um, then we will have enough. We still lack having a count of how many sleep spots we've got in the tribe somewhere in the user interface. I think we have been asking for that for the past two years and we still haven't got it. Uh, when I ask them and then I, I show them where we can put it, like when you see this says housing, we can put it to the right of where it says housing, but then the dev said that there are plans for that space. And that has me so, so um, curious. What plans do they have for that? 
I don't dare to ask too much. <laughs> I might nag a bit though. But just a little bit. Just a smidgen. Right, so. Okay. Right, so I think that when this uh, straw is done as well, then we should have enough. Look, it's, there's only a blue house now. And nobody's overworked because I still have it on one below default. So to get rid of people's. Uh, unhappiness for having to sleep by the fireplace so this is a thing to do if you can afford it now that is the big question right because normally a lot of players struggle always with food um, and if you don't migrate all the time you will go lower and lower on food it's just the way it is in the hardcore you have like insane reduction everything is trying to kill you everything absolutely everything <laughs> every nook and cranny stone and branch and the water did I mention the water yeah water is algae we could probably have had the Atlantis achievement uh, 20 times over now. Yeah, that's how good we are. <laughs> that's the way I look at it. Staying positive. <laughs> what do you have? Yeah, you have feeble. But see, when they're uh, when their biology, when the biology is up, you know it's. Uh, the two arrows up it means you can deduct that in that biology from the fitness reduction but if it's going down then you need to if the biology is going down the arrows are going down then you need to add that to the already deduction from the the trait from the grade of the trait so this is a weak dude very weak feeble yeah look five people sleeping in the reed hut they are going to be quite okay tomorrow, but there's still a few by the way, Blaze. Yeah. Oh, this is pretty. Very pretty. Yeah, I'm just going to stare at this for a bit. <laughs> I'm just going to stare. <laughs> I really do like the snow, though. I really do. But I want snowstorm. Can we have snowstorms? Oh my word, that would be so cool to have that. You know when they get uh, implementation of um, the the weather effects on people. Maybe we will get like proper uh, storms, snowstorms. That would be so cool. Yeah, maybe that will come in the future. Who knows? I only know that there will be uh, that people will be affected by the weather now, so we're going to freeze our bums off. Can't sleep by the fireplace in the middle of the winter, that's for sure. <clears throat> yeah, we're probably going to get some kind of emergency shelter. <clears throat> see, one that's a fairly young one. That means there is basically too few of these left to avoid killing the young ones. Well. Life is harsh. We needed to uh, to eat. <clears throat> right. Yeah, they're done with that one now. Yeah, that means I can uh, put the uh, work hours back to default. There you go. So now everyone has a place to sleep, a decent place to sleep. So we are slowly but surely going to get rid of all the unrest and they're going to go all the way down to zero unrest. Except those with really bad grades, they're going to be still moaning about the work hours. But uh, they've had, how many days have we had now? How many sleeps have we had with really low work hours? At least 10, at least. Let's uh, have them get a bit more food. We're going low on food, can you see that? A bit low. Yeah. I think I'm going to go over a little bit to see what uh, knowledge is <clears throat> we need to work on. Let's get one of those as well to not have the straw rotting away. Hmm. 
So the reason why they read heart is still 30%, the max you can get from any housing, is because the, the tribe doesn't know of anything better. They think this is the best you can get, you know. <clears throat> yeah. I hope nobody comes and talks about the longhouse. That they've seen a longhouse out in the world, or even a roundhouse, or a big straw hut, or a big reed hut. Heaven forbid. <laughs> So in hardcore, they are extra, you know, extra impatient with with things they can't have what they don't, that they want. So I just I just hope it takes a while before anyone comes here, any migrants or travelers or whatever, to talk about it. So there, yep. Yeah. That's our haystack done. Okay. We only have the pit still. I'm not surprised. We're only in 7.8 thousand BC. But I'm pretty sure they had several options for several types of food. I mean, they mainly lived off meat, didn't they? Several kinds of meat. So we should really have had something already, basically at the start, to put meat in, don't you think? Look how nice it is. Oh, it's so pretty. See, this kind of blue colour, when the light is the way it is, to me, that is a... Uh, so beautiful oh look what are those done? oh that's venus by the way you can see venus that dot pretty right let's have a look see year four gosh we're year four we're in 7798 bc 97 it's going down, it's going down. I'm yelling timber. I don't know why I sing this weird song, because I know like four words and that's it. <laughs> okay, so we have enough for everyone to sleep. That is good. No, no way that you complain of overwork. Seriously, it's bad grades. That's it. Bad grades are complaining of overwork. And that's it. Not putting down the workouts anymore. We need to get food. Look at that. We are 32 people, 14 females, 17 males, 12 elderly. I better get down some graves. Some more graves. Do I have any graves? I thought I did. I do not. Oh my word. I have been slacking. Uh, let's have a look at how uh, how old these are that are old. Okay, there are four that is not working. She's 64, 66, 63, and 67. This guy will be the first one to go. He has 13 fitness left. So when they're roughly 60, I'm not sure you guys know this, but you might do. Um, when they're 60 years old, or perhaps it's a bit sooner now, I haven't checked it for a long time, but around 60-ish, their uh, fitness starts to go down, down and down and down until it reaches zero, which is basically their end of life when they die from old age. That's kind of how it works. So children from when they are born until they are, are 17 will grow their fitness. And when they are 17, they're at the fitness that is their max based on um, biology and, you know, grades. An elder who who reach age of 60-ish, they will have their fitness reduced bit by bit every day until they reach zero. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, get up another reed hut and then remove one of the pelt huts. I'm going to leave, for instance, I think I'm going to leave these three just in case, like a sort of emergency. I talk like I'm going to stay here for many years. I am not going to stay here for many years, but I want to have as little... Um, unrest as possible 
when we move again because it will be progressively worse to drag your people with you to go to make them happy after so many years and they have to go back to sleeping by the fireplace or god forbid sleeping in the open seriously that will not go down well <clears throat> right so what are we lacking yeah just things i actually don't think that there are any rose hips here they're probably not going to come until way into a much warmer climate so i can just sort of remove those there you go now we should have no error reports at all look at that that's perfect absolutely perfect yep But if we get too much food, instead of taking down the limits, I'm actually going to take down the work spots. Normally I take down the limits. That's one way of doing it. That's kind of like just what I'm used to or what I prefer to do. Or you could actually just lower the work age. You know, that means that less people are available to fill the spots. That means that there will be less in these, in the struggle groups. You see, we have so many how many people are working and we can easily go down a bit I can probably go down a bit more let the younger ones be in peace unless you we just need to keep an eye on the food if it goes too much down we need to up a little bit again but you can see we have um, plenty of stragglers I can kind of do what they like I think I'm actually going to put the limits on these as well Okay, don't need to put limits on those. Just leave those. How are we doing? I need to make sure that we're not... Uh, you have a lot of fishing. Are you the only one with that amount of fishing? Now let's find out. Because this is something we need to keep an eye on. So you're 42. No, you're good. You're going to live for quite a long time. Uh, you... Yeah, you will quickly get there. You're 28. So look at this one. This is just to show. This one has a very big biology. So that's a plus 13 on his fitness. But his feeble, which is the second highest, worst grade. So uh, that's minus 17. So if you take away 13, then this one is just 4. So his feebleness is now only minus 4. Yeah? So some of these grades will, uh, you know, even each other out. Like if he had been a giant, his feeble would have done nothing to him. Absolutely nothing. Because his giant, if he was a giant, he would have been plus 17 in fitness. I think. I think. Right, let me see what else. Um, yeah, no, you're good. What about you? You have leather working. Do you have the max? 21. You do. Let's make sure that you're not the one holding the max skills. So we're just going to basically go through these. You're 18. Oh, wait. I went straight past him. You're 17. You're 57. And your skills are rather low. Wait a minute. What kind of grades do you have? You just have an hesitance grade. Which is not bad at all. Okay, you, you're just a young child. Let's see, I need to see leather working. We have plenty with fishing and hunting. Yeah. Look at her. She's so strong. Yeah, there's a reason she is the, the leader. Plus 15. And plus she is strong. So her fitness is plus 32. With her biology. So she's, she's actually 47 plus. But she's so old that her fitness is going down and down. She has been a lot more, but she's 65 and she's been going down slowly but surely for five years. But it just shows how, how high her fitness was. Oh, let me have a look at you. You have, you have five skills. You're charismatic. Yeah. Yeah, you, what did you have? You had, was it you who had 18? Yeah, it was you. Is this the old one? No, that's her. She was only 17. Let's have a look, see. The thing is, we can afford to lose a, a few percentages, you know, but uh, losing the entire... Oh, wow. She's got six. But she's not working anymore. 
29, she's not Max. So these are the kind of things that I, I, I look for, especially in the small tribes, to make sure that um, we don't lose too much levels in any knowledges. In, this, in the Neolithic, I'm not too worried about either fishing, hunting or leather working, to be honest, because it's so little used in comparison to the Mesolithic. But you still, oh, look at her. And she's got an increase in stone working. Dude. I'll take them. Are they both called? Oh, nice. You're with me. Yeah. But you don't, you, you don't use a lot of, of heavy fishing or heavy hunting in Neolithic. You're supposed to rely mostly on your produce, your cultivated produce. Look at him. Gosh. So some of these combinations are amazing. You are 65%. And 69. Can you believe it's not max? So it seems um, the bad grades are being fairly well evened out, I think, because there's a lot of people now with a lot of good grades, which is probably why I am getting so much away with almost said, torturing my tribe. <laughs> getting away with having, um, you know, several nights in a row where a lot of them sleep by the fireplace in hardcore year four. I'm still shocked by this one having six. Yeah. So I think uh, this is 21. Okay, he also has 21. Okay, so he has a small stature plus a fitness reduction. So he won't be old. I think it will be max 66, 67. So he has uh, roughly 10 years left. Not 10 years as such, but, you know, 10. And just just 10 <laughs> that's not very 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 well explained so the fitness will be reduced not by one per day but I think on slow it's is it three per day I think it's three per day let's have a look at him again if we can find him like like her she's also losing she's now 84 let's keep an eye on her and see what she's losing and now she's 83 so she it's going down and down But I think it's three per day on uh, on slow. Yeah, I'm gonna keep an eye on her. I'm gonna spy on her. Let's just see. Still 83. Well, if my theory is correct, she should be 81 tomorrow. I think. Or maybe she's already gone down too and she will be 82 tomorrow. Ah, uh, 82 now. Okay, that means she will be 81 tomorrow morning. Yeah? So that, yeah. So you lose three points after you turn 60-ish to your... See, yeah, she's 81. So you lose three points of your fitness per day in slow. Oh, and then she lost another one. Oh, she's 80. So it's between three and four then. Or is it perhaps four? I can't be five, that's too much. So that's, she was 83 when we checked her. No, she was 84. And then she went down three that day that we could see with our own eyes. Actually, it could be as much as five, actually. Five per day. It just sounds so much, doesn't it? That means she's got, um, dear Lord, me and Matt's. Sorry, my brain's not working. I need to go to bed. I need to go to bed. My brain is not working. And she went down to 79. Yeah. Yup. Well, at least we have some graves now. Wherever I put them. Over oh, here somewhere, wasn't it? see oh over there okay then okay so this one is already taken I didn't pay is that the dude that uh, yeah that's the guy that I said wouldn't last long he was 68 yeah no there's got to be another one or maybe it's the same one anyway. right do we have enough we do have enough for another straw heart um, yeah read heart. So I'm gonna chuck down another read heart and then remove one of the pelt
there you go that means five more would sleep there but this is what is it minus three yeah you know it's not the worst in the world but it's still minus isn't it and the reason why oh oh no now this one is 30 percent. that means that this one is going down what they're both the same oh yeah they are these two are always the same always always the same but of course as soon as we can make this one i'm going to remove these you know why because the big straw hut is much cheaper to build much cheaper to keep up we have much more of the material needs both to build and repair and it can take more people this one can take five and this one can take six Tara, so there then we need not use reed for anything but storehouses eventually but if you're going to use storehouses in the mesolithic timeline um I'm not sure that is the way to go unless you have like 300 meat and people don't eat up what you have. For instance, we have too much nuts. We don't have to have this much nuts. You know, I put the limit on 100 just to be on the safe side. So if we were going to stay here long term for 30, 40 years, they would not have been there. I would have calculated max two days food for everyone in the tribe. And that's it to minimize waste 100%. And I would also uh, have put on, you know, varying uh, species and uh, kept an eye on my hunters to make sure they didn't, uh, they didn't get targeted for pregnant or young animals. Yeah. Because that, that's the hunting now, the, uh, the system for hunting. You can see we no longer have a slider for size. Because size does not matter it is actually by age which the is I mean I said this two years ago that it should be by age and not by size because size didn't matter because it, it ended up with all the biggest animals being killed no matter also the kids because they will still be bigger than both the boars and the hares and, and whatever you know the the uh, the horse all the horses were killed so yeah and then they first did so that um, um, they um, left all pregnant alone but you know it didn't work very well did it they still killed uh, pregnant because blah 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 anyway so now they have made it so that um, they are going by the eldest first the eldest males and then they go for eldest females and then the the adult males the adult females and then they go for yeah you know, and the pregnant and the young ones last but the catch here is that um, the system will only search within a certain parameter so it's not searching the entire map so this is something we need to be aware of. We need to keep this in mind when we let the, the hunters roam free with all the species. The more species you let the hunters hunt, the less chance there is for them to go for any pregnant or for the younger individuals or the females for that matter at all. Because the system then has more to choose from and there's a higher likeliness of there being elder, elder males and elder females in the vicinity they are searching, right? If you pick only one, one species then you run the risk of them going after the babies as well and the pregnant ones yeah so keep that in mind always oh gosh she has increase in tool smithing that's fine i'll take her look we can make bone knives that's nice let's do that bone knives are uh, very cheap to make and if you do a lot of hunting you will always have use for them so i'm just going to make 30. There you go. Let's get 30. So you keep an eye on that when you are having hunters. Just make sure that uh, they don't call for the, the, the pregnant. Because if you see that the, the pregnant or young ones are targeted, it means that nothing else above in the criteria we want above is in that vicinity. Yeah, so remember also that all these uh, targets will be reset at night time. And then the system will scour the parameter again and then find new targets that fits the criteria. So basically, the system targets are based on, first of all, the species you have chosen. If you have chosen none, like we have here, then it will always go for eldest in the vicinity. And then go down and down, and the last ones will be the pregnant and the, the offspring, the smaller ones. That is for all species. So they won't only go for, you know, the biggest ones. I don't know, is that the auroch or the horse? I don't know. They're quite big, both of them. 
Because if that were the case, then everything that would be left on the map in the end would be rats, right? So they don't do that. Mm. Look, it even glistens when it's wet. Dang, this is so cool. All the details. All the details. Okay, so um, we have been here. We've been here over a year now, haven't we? We came at the end of year two, or was it start of year three? Anyway, we've been over a year here. So that is good. Right, so now they are going for whatever is closest here, these are the rabbits. So rabbits become three or four years old-ish, yeah? So there are not many of those left, I think. Oh, those were the only ones in the vicinity. The other ones are not reachable. So I don't worry about preserving the hares or the rats. Oh, actually, when I have a very large tribe, I make a separate hunting group that goes for the rats and the boars. Because the rats can sneak in everywhere. Like if there was a small, small repair needed on any fence, any storage facility, the rats would manage to find a way in. Granted, they, they eat extremely little, so I, I'm not even sure you would notice it in a famine. So that's how little it is. But you know, the, the mere thought of having rats sneaking into your food, you know, in our modern day and time, it's, uh, it's very disgusting, to be honest. And I actually do like rodents. I've had tons of hamsters in my life. Always liked hamsters. They're very cute. But I'm not afraid of rodents. I'm not afraid of rats or mice. Never have been. I'm just glad you don't have spiders here. Seriously, I used to say to, to myself that the reason why the Poma Shack is so, so bad is because the, the spiders have infested them. That's why people don't like sleeping in them. <laughs> oh gosh, look at all the berries. Dude, that's strawberries. No, that can't be right. I need to check that tomorrow. What in the actual... You have unlimited. I'm going to follow you and see where you go. Because now we have two of those. That means I can in theory take away one of these. In theory, because one of them... Yeah. Yeah. No, that's correct. Large benches and wattle fences. So, so this dude has actually improved woodworking skills yay good goody good right i'm gonna see where they go where are they where's the other ones i wanted to spy on not you guys but you i'm gonna see if they go for berries Let's have a look. Oh, that's far away. Is it strawberries? It is! It's strawberries! There's that ton of strawberries here! Dang! That doesn't make sense. Why do we have so many strawberries but so little rose hips? Hmm... I'm not sure that makes sense, to be honest. There should be rose hips as well. Look at him, he's feeble. No, it's not feeble, he has a, a will thing, indecisive. But he's pretty big. Sure. So there's tons of... of um, well, not tons. Let's get the strawberries. Look at that. And flies. Plenty flies. But we don't have rose hips. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm going to put uh, I'm going to have to put a limit on this <laughs> Seriously Because we have Look at them, they are rotting away This is something I normally never do I never let anything rot away So it's just because I know we're going to move soon Well not soon, but soon soon Not like today But soon soon Uh, 
There you go, one of each. Anyway, there's a million ways to play this game. No one thing needs to be the right thing. Okay, uh, so we need more space for, for red meat. Okay. Let's make space. We can do that. There you go. Ta-da! And suddenly we are 35. Weren't we just 27? There it is. There you go. Um, yeah, we're probably going to lose some of the um, the berries. But berries are really low calorie, really low calorie food. So an adult man would eat like five, maybe even six of those. make sure that these guys do that and we're going to take away the other one as well that is uh, doing this Ta-da! then we're going to get some straw hats did I remove a pelt hat? I did Oh, do we not have enough houses now? Oh my god! Oh, seriously? I forgot to count our population. I counted our population like we were like, I don't know, eight sleeps ago? Yep. Look at this guy. He's, um very big plus 15 health he's 36 so he should be in his prime so he's 115 fitness <clears throat> that means he will live three days longer which is a month he will live one month longer it doesn't seem like much but it is quite a few historical years yeah there's a lot of um, you know, technicalities and calculations that I have absolutely no clue about. <clears throat> Do we really not have any mushrooms here? Should be plenty of humidity, but maybe we don't have enough. We should have enough forests around here. Yeah, because that's what they like to grow. What's that? Oh, that's a tree. Wait a minute, how much? Uh, oh, we have 28. That's fine. More migrants. I'm going to need more housing. Let's have a look at you. Yeah, she has an increase in fishing. And she's a neutral. She has nothing bad and nothing particularly good either. And her name is Yo-Yo-Yo. Yo-Yo-Yo. Yo-Yo. Yo-Yo. Yo-Yo-Yo-Yo-Yo-Yo-Yo. So what are these now? These are... Oh, they're still, they're still okay. But they will only be okay until we get red hats between these two. Then they will not be okay anymore. That's a bit bad that I didn't remember to... Um, put up the priority on those because that also means that P 
people are working on them less than they could. But they're doing quite all right because there's so many free people that they can go do communal chores. Because when you have uh, limitations on everything, then you will have free people when there's nothing for them to do. And then they will just go and do um, communal chores. So that's quite common. I have 29. I'm going to pause my wood chopper because we have 29. We don't need more. Okay, so we have 250 straw. That means we are ready for you. We are ready. I'm going to chuck up one more straw uh, reed hut until we get this the big large straw the big straw hut because <clears throat> we have a few extra people that I did not count when I uh, disbanded my belt up hey <laughs> hey okay yeah I count is it two? Two sleeping by the fireplace. Three. Two or three. Two, four, six. No, that that's that's two. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure that any patch note mentioned this, but this happened a while ago. I, I just think I've forgotten to talk about it, or maybe I did. I forgot that I have talked about it. Is that <clears throat> they have uh, made limits to how many people can work at any one same object at the same time. So if you see three to four people working on a hut, it is the max they can go. You can't. You will no longer see like six people going to work on the same thing anymore. And the reason for this is that uh, a player complained that <clears throat> uh, even though there was only um, a few uh, more materials needed for a building, you could have like six people going with materials to it and then four of them had to turn around and then go store the materials again. So that was such a waste. So devs decided to accommodate this player and reduce the amount of people who could do the work. So this is something I don't like when it's big projects, projects that take a long time, for instance, the passage tomb. The passage tomb had more people though, but before the limits were on, you could have like 10 people on it. <clears throat> so yeah, but of course it is, it is more efficient, to be honest, on the, in the long run, to not have everyone running to do the building. You know, because the building adherence is so strong in the game that most people who are uh, accessible for the job, close to the camp, have the skills, or even if they don't have the skill, if they're close enough, they will go. They will um, break free from their groups and go do whatever you place down to be built if the materials in camp. So uh, I don't mind it as such, but it's a little bit bob-bob to see like six people working on the passage tomb when it takes 10,000 stones and 2,500 mud and between the the stone placing and the mud placing you have at least 10 days where they are building and the players uh, are misunderstanding it and thinking this is a bug they just stand there and pray they're not praying they're building they're building up the stone uh, monuments and that's what's happening <clears throat> so yeah just uh have that in the back of your mind if you see them standing around for many days in a row it looks like they're praying they're not they're building i promise pinky promise let me see so now we have this one too so that's five that means we have enough uh, we can actually take away one of these if my maths is maths is correct we can take away one of these i'll take away the one that is closest to needing repairs which is none of them <laughs> they're all the same <laughs> Oh no, I was looking at the wrong one. I was looking at service. Duh. You, 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 you. No, they're all the same. <laughs> they're still the same. Oh. Uh, no, you're not really, really, you're not running out of food. Well, it is neutral, just saying that. <clears throat> it's a three or four days food they calculate. 
So also, yeah, the bones also have, um, the, it doesn't fill people up. So when people are helping themselves with bones, they will eat like five, six as well. Same with the uh, the berries. Yeah. And of course the pine nuts goes like five, six at a time as well to, to fill up an adult person. Okay, so nobody's sleeping out in the open. Yeah, that's a victory. I'll take that any day. Absolutely. It's weird to stay so long in the same place. We are keeping them together, we are keeping them alive, and we are actually managing to keep them happy. However, I can tell we might soon have to migrate. Yeah, how are we doing with fish? We still have fish, yeah, we still have fish. Hunters, let's have a quick look and see how much animals there are left. Okay, not a lot of big, but a lot of small, which won't really which won't really feed a lot. You know, the hair with one and two meat, it's ridiculously low. Yeah, there's plenty of food left. We have at least a year or so left if we don't overdo things. I think I'm gonna have to put down the uh, hazelnuts as well and there's no point having these a hundred because uh, well actually people will eat them up that's the thing oh, oops a thousand yeah that's a good one I'm gonna put you to 50 as well so you can do 50 of everything but uh, yeah I mean if you're playing hardcore you already know that you shouldn't put any limits on any of the, the stripping of any kind of meat if you don't take it in from the from the wild, from the nature, from nature, it will rot away in, in nature. So what you do is you strip it, you dry it, and then it will last longer, and your tribe will definitely eat it because that's one of their favorite foods, the dried meats, both the red and the white. Let me see, thirty-seven. So that's two extra. That means if I take this one away, we will lack one sleeping spot, so that then I can't do that. Okay. Let's see. Let's get one of these while we wait. So I can take away a pelt hut. Pelt hut gives minus. We don't want the minus. And also, I'm going to put down some more pits and divide the food a better, a bit better, so they don't stand in queues, because we don't want that. What we have a lot of at the moment in this area is uh, nuts, hazelnuts, and uh, berries. I actually haven't. Have, did we have any mushrooms? I think we did. I think we did have mushrooms. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did. Not like a ton, but still, we had mushrooms. And I'm pretty sure we had half a unit of, of honey somewhere. <laughs> and probably some of the kids snuck, snuck to eat up. Wouldn't be surprised if the slightest. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> so now it's a waiting game to see when are we going to run out of food. I, I, I am um, saving a little bit. You know, I don't mind staying at the same place at all. But we need to create tasks for people to learn skills. Absolutely. Um, actually, I'm going to put up the hunters to get more leather because we need more people to, to do the leather working. To spread it around. There you go. The roots don't need more. I think I put them on 20, didn't I? Cause, uh, no, that's not the one. Because it's so disliked that it should only be emergency food. They're kind of the same with, uh, you know, with the, the bones or the bone marrow. Yeah. Right. So that is actually going to be the end of part three. So either tomorrow or in the next few days, I will do. Part four. 
until then <laughs> have fun and take care i shall see you soon <laughs>